yet another reminder of how fleeting life can be. Our hearts are broken. Absolutely terrible. Devastated friends, fans, and family mourn the loss of Natasha. I'm Maria Menounos. With the questions now being asked, could she have been saved? What today's autopsy reveals. And with the public bewildered about how she could have succumbed to a seemingly minor ski injury so quickly, a report surfaced that an ambulance initially called to the scene by ski patrol was turned away. Natasha reportedly signed a release refusing treatment at first when she was feeling well, a potentially fatal mistake often made by victims of head trauma who may only have a narrow window of time to be saved. If they were turned away, if there is any kind of head trauma, if there are any symptoms, a CAT scan should be performed immediately. She may have had a, a bleed an hour after she fell that uh, was caused by an abnormal blood vessel in the head. According to neurosurgeon Dr. Mark Leiker, when dealing with an epidural hematoma or a blood clot, which is what killed Natasha, time is of the essence. My first impression was that it, it was a, uh, an epidural hematoma. If a neurosurgeon gets to the, gets to the patient quickly enough, uh, the surgery is very easy. Um, we uh, drill a hole in the skull, find out where the blood clot is, and remove it. 